Alright guys, Tetra here, back again today. The 2v2 Gunfight Alpha is live on the PS4 for the weekend. We're going to be talking about that briefly today. Be interested to hear some of your guys' first impressions down in the comment section below if you guys have been having the opportunity to play it. Just after I record this video and get it uploaded, I'm going to be hopping on to play it for the first time. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, seems pretty interesting. There's been a lot of clips going around uh, the Twitter sphere and Twitch and Reddit and all of these things. So I'll share some of them with you probably at the end of the video or um, you know when, whenever I feel like it throughout the video or something like that because there's quite a few I'd like to look at and there's not too much to talk about today apart from that even though I do want to get into this Vondaha situation which you may have uh, heard some some rustlings about over the last week or so so you know interesting times like if you guys enjoy the video subscribe if you are new as always does have to be said, not that much is going on right now, of course. We are kind of awaiting a lot of things to do with the franchise situation. Do want to play you guys a quick clip, real quick, from Scraps' stream, where he says that uh, FaZe have an 80% chance of getting a spot, or at least that's what he's been told, and saying that, you know, reciprocity, the way he phrases it is it would be a miracle if Rec doesn't get a spot, which, um, you know, that kind of, that phrasing implies that he's hoping it they don't get a spot, you know what I mean? Whereas, I think what he means is, like, it's it's just very unlikely they won't get a spot. Um, and, you know, hopefully that is the case. I probably said it'll be a miracle if Rack don't get a spot. So. That's the only way they don't get a spot. At the minute, they don't know. Like, it's the same with us. He's in the same boat as I am. Like, we don't know anything. Obviously, we've had talks with FaZe and stuff. Like, we've been told, like, there's an 80% there's an chance we get a spot. That's what we got told of FaZe. And I'm like, anything could happen, but, so. I'm just gonna wait. We don't have too long to, uh, you know, for these people to still be working on it. I guess we have a few months, but obviously, you know, you want the franchises for the next season to be locked in pretty early so they can do all the behind-the-scenes stuff that is needed. So, you know, interesting times ahead. Not too much going on. I wonder if I'll still be able to daily upload, because I have done for a very long time now, uh, pretty much with the with the odd day off, but um, I really try and avoid it if possible. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to keep that up, because there really isn't that much to talk about right now. I'm going to try and do a quiz this weekend. I'm hopefully going to try and get some more interviews with pros, uh, get their thoughts, because that is content that I can do without things necessarily happening maybe bring back some uh gameplay breakdowns on the like look at some champs or um you know something like that so those are the thoughts hope you guys enjoy those ideas if you have any ideas and any suggestions for videos leave them down below i would always appreciate it so um yeah this clip real quick in the background here that we've been watching is shotzi uh you know halo world champion played a little bit of black ops 4 this season just absolutely like jumping and jiving around on this uh, modern warfare alpha like look at the state of this lad's movement he is cracked out of his mind like people say that are oh, you know maybe these these young guns they won't be able to compete maybe in in the slower games uh, but you know look at the state of this what am I witnessing here um, fair play so let's get on to the other things I wanted to talk about really which was the Vondaha situation and be interested to hear your guys thoughts on that as well so we'll run through it here um, yeah first impressions on Modern Warfare honestly from what I've seen it looks pretty damn good interested in this uh, stim shot thing that's going on though because I get I guess it will be gentlemen's agreemented but pretty much the way this gunfight mode works it's a 2v2 there's no health regen there is health regen in normal modes and uh, you get the same class as what the other people have got on the other side kind of randomized classes and uh, there is a piece of equipment called the stim which basically does what black ops 4 does and puts you straight back to 100 health and um, you know that's uh, interesting and i think you can use it like twice in a life and it's going to be like a tactical piece of equipment that you can use in game in public matches which sounds to me pretty stupid uh, i don't reckon it'll be being competitive but you know those are some initial thoughts honestly from what i've seen what most people have been saying is it, it's really really good fun to be honest which is uh what i'm looking for um interesting game the time to kill looks very very high it probably will play quite a lot like ghosts um i would say um, by high i mean like sure i guess i mean uh you know quick is what I'm going for. So yeah, those are some of my initial impressions. I'll probably expound on that more in the coming days when I've actually got a chance to play it. But you know, seeing the community reaction so far has been good. We know how it goes every single year. Um, yeah, there's always a honeymoon period. From what the... Uh, the like influencers that went out to play modern warfare said that this was the like their favorite mode they didn't really like the other one so much um largely because the mini map was more of an issue in the in the bigger maps the bigger modes so you know those are some thoughts um i, I just can't get over this lad's movement 
So let's go on to this Vonderhaar situation, because I'm not sure if you guys know too much about this. Uh, let's try and make this screen a little bit bigger right here. That will do, I think, just about... So, look, um, Von Haar, if you don't know him, David Von Haar has been, like, the, the Treyarch go-to guy for multiplayer development since, uh, you know, back in, I don't know how long he's been there, probably back in the Black Ops 2 days, or I think probably even earlier than that, but people really started to talk about Von Haar back in the Black Ops 2 days, and uh, pretty much everything that changed was blamed on Von Haar, whatever, like, if you guys have been around Call of Duty for a few years, you know who David Von Haar is, 1.2 million Twitter followers, and, um, you know, so he hasn't really had too much to do with Call of Duty apart from this year in Black Ops 4 he did the blackout mode which is what uh, you know that was his main focus and back in the Black Ops 2 days that was you know his main focus as well but Black Ops 3 I don't think he really tinkered with that too much stuff it was really blackout this year now what's interesting is that he comes out and says I was asked by someone I respect to disconnect my day-to-day -day with the Call of Duty world I was a part of I respect that it makes sense before I go good luck to all the Call of Duty World League esports heroes he said this around champs time so look, this is interesting stuff. Uh, this is what he says here. So the last time I had any authority over anything we made was Black Ops 2 and Blackout. Um, you know, replying to some comment he's seen on uh, is maybe it's not. This looks kind of like Reddit, but I don't think it is. I think this might be um, like Charlie Intel comment section or something like that. So, you know, interesting stuff. Now, he had a bit of a, like, Twitter breakdown or whatever, I guess you could say. Um, he tweeted this out as well. You know, none of this exists without those pioneers beating up my inbox. Like, good job, guys. Straight up honor. Like, it was a really weird chain of um, tweets, especially the way this first one went, like, before I go. Almost, like, some sort of strange uh, intent and messaging going on. People were worried about him. Um... And, you know, Von der Haar says the same thing here after the, the champs finishes. He, a few tweets were going about. Eventually, he uh, starts tweeting about politics as well, goes into a bit of a breakdown mode. Eventually, he tweets out this and says, Hi, everyone. This is a couple of days ago now. Sorry if my tweets cause confusion. We've talked about how bad I am on Twitter. Um, I'm going to take some time to unplug as I often do. So, you know, this is very interesting if Von der Haar will be forced or, you know, whatever the case may be, to step away by Activision or whoever asked him to step away and disconnect from Call of Duty um, you know, if they ask him to do that then I guess that's going to happen we won't see Von Haar involved in the, the future Treyarch games hasn't really been involved in the multiplayer anyway so it's probably not that big of a deal but I thought it's at least very much newsworthy uh, you know few more comments and replies here until we get into something very interesting in just a second so these are a couple of those tweets that I was just bringing up that are now unavailable and have been deleted um, you know he, he talks about it with these people so it's pretty it's a pretty emotional stuff between these two legends of, of uh, Call of Duty and uh, of you know having seen what they love grow over the last decade is quite incredible um, but then we have the following so uh, so Drifter replies to the same couple of tweets glad to see you speak your mind I hope it doesn't hurt your career Von Haar says I am screwed so bad I'm also okay with it uh, for the kind of things he said on Twitter and um, you know it's it's what well, that's how it is, I guess. Then he comes to Hector, and uh, Hector Rodriguez, of course, I, you know, I always try and associate Hex of Optic Gaming, but it's kind of like, um, well, Optic, it's it's a different story. I don't really want to get into it again. Well, anyway, is it worth a lot of subs and views if I fly to Texas and we go fishing? I don't mind making an ass out of myself. For the greater good of this world, someone must. So, um, you know, Von Haar's really into fishing. This is interesting stuff, though, because we know that Hex runs this eavesdrop podcast where he talks to, you know, pros and influencers from the gaming sphere about their career and uh, how they've made it this far and where their origins are and all this kind of stuff. You never know if Von der Haar would kind of be the perfect guy to fit that billing and have him on the show and have a chat. I mean, you know, exactly what this is. Um, like, for the greater good of this world, someone must. Whether he's on about here, like, you know, going fishing and not being the best fisherman, I don't know. Whether he's referring to let's do a podcast and, uh, you know, for the greater good of this world, someone must bring some of these things that are going on behind the scenes to light. Whether he's going down that route, um, you know, difficult to say. Probably the fishing one, probably reading too much into it. But uh, you never know. If they did do a podcast, that would be crazy interesting, especially in light of all of these things that have happened over the last few days. So yes, that's pretty much all I had to talk about today. Uh, not too much else flying through my mind, so I thought I would leave you guys with some clips of the Modern Warfare Alpha um, that I've seen floating around. So yeah, if you guys are on PS 
PS4, feel free to hop on and enjoy it. I did get a request actually from an excellent subscriber saying if I could, you know, organize some sort of tournament um, for, for the alpha. I'm not even sure it's possible to do custom games on it. I don't reckon it is. But if you did want to try and set up something like that or find a duo to play with, feel free to join my Discord down in the link in the description and I'll put it in the pinned comment as well. Always a lot of stuff going in there. It's always good vibes, good fun. Uh, chat about anything you'd like. And a lot of people are in there looking to find people to play with. Everyone's nice and friendly. So if you guys want to join, talk about whatever, watch some games, uh, have a chat. I'm, I'm usually chilling in there in the evenings and just uh, having a chat with people. So if you want to join, feel free. Uh, it's usually a good time and you can find some people to play with. And uh, there's loads of different channels for you to talk about whatever you want to have a chat about. So, um, you know, join if you would like. If not, no problem. Not going to hold it against you. And uh, maybe I'll get you the next time. So yeah, like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you are new as always. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, closing in on 13,000 subscribers subscribers here which is uh truly appreciated did not think we'd get this far subscriber growth has been slower over the last um you know few months but that is how it is because uh, you know, at some point you hit kind of a, a ceiling which is difficult to difficult to break through there's not an infinite amount of people that uh, watch these kind of videos and watch this kind of content but i must say like just before i finish like a massive thank you because for the amount of subscribers i have the amount of people who are still watching my videos like every day is is so high in comparison so um you know thanks a lot it's not something you usually see on channels with uh, getting this many views with that you know view to subscriber ratio is really really good so and it has stayed good since ever since i've been making these videos really basically a year ago so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching as always i'll see you next time I just hammered him so fucking hard, dude. I hate pressure. Jesus. Look at this. How, how are you gonna melt like that, though? I didn't even, like, slide to the left like that. Switching sides. Oh, yeah, never mind. I just saw them. Weapons ready. Move in. This is it, Damon. Left side. Looking past the boxes. On me, on me, on me. I am with two. Oh, man, fucking montaging you back to the fucking lobby. Run this shit right now. Rerun the stupid bitch. I don't want to rerun it versus you, scrubs. Our lobbies are different than your lobbies, bitch. Yep, ours no, are easy. Suck, you just dick, keep pussy. losing. Yeah, do not even an optic. Sorry, I shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I'm not. Who the fuck is that on the optic, bitch? Oh, shit.